Black Eagle, this is Devil 505. I'm declaring emergency. My volunteer's been hit. I repeat, my volunteer's been hit. Light of the Intruder. It's the latest gung-ho drama by director John Milius, who here argues for letting the American fighting man do his thing if you're going to send him into battle. The movie is about Navy jet pilots in Vietnam in 1972 who break ranks and bomb a missile site in downtown Hanoi. The pilot who comes up with the idea, played by Brad Johnson in a good performance, has just lost his co-pilot in a pointless bombing mission. And he approaches his new partner, Willem Dafoe, playing a grizzled vet on his third tour of duty in Nam with the bombing idea. Ain't no piece of cake. Yeah, but it would be worth it. Why do the intruder only takes off toward the end when they decide to go ahead with the raid on Hanoi? Get it on. Well, that are with me. Oh, God, a nice staff. Pickle top. Stand by. Come for me. One mile. Keep on tracking. Stand by. They're off. Break in loud. Break in loud. The raid, of course, was unauthorized, and their commanding officer, Danny Glover, chews them out when they get back on ship. You do not have the right to make up your own orders. You have abused my trust and the trust of every officer in this squadron. After the apparent climax, the movie tacks on another storyline, with Glover getting wounded in a later combat sequence, and naturally the bad boys come to rescue him. Yeah! Hang in there, devil leader. We got you covered. Now, for a full hour before the bombing raid and before the rescue attempt on Glover, Flight of the Intruder is a boring exercise in male bonding with the troops taking R&R &R in a bar where naturally the fight breaks out. In movies, of course, as Roger and I both know, people fight more than they drink in bars. Only when the raid does begin does the movie communicate the camaraderie of combat and the heroism of the individual soldier. But it's too late, I think, in this disjointed movie. Well, uh, the first part of the movie doesn't seem to know what it's about. Right. About 45 minutes of the movie, I asked myself, what is the movie about? Exactly. But it didn't bother me as much as the part you like. I, it seems to me that after they raid Hanoi, the movie should be over. Mm -hmm. And immediately after that, there's a court martial scene followed by another scene which seemed to be very badly yes. edited, so that yep. it didn't seem to belong. It seemed out of continuity, as if it came from some other movie or some other I place I think a couple of movie. scenes were missing. And then after that, this whole business of Glover being shot down at the rerun of that Vietnam movie, Bat 21. Right. The, the, the last cigarette, the calling in the strike, it's just one cliche after another. The final freeze frame of the two guys smiling at the camera made me want to stick my fingers down my throat. Yeah. The last part of this movie, it seemed to me totally lost I'm just talking way. about the only exciting part the heart of the movie is the bombing raid on Hanoi. That worked. What, what so is you didn't like anything up to that point, and I didn't like anything after that point. Yeah, you got about 15 minutes of a, of a decent picture.